YouTube, my name's Lance and welcome to Bundy Bear's Shed. Well, what have we done this week? Well, I haven't bought anything. I'm feeling a bit left out, really. Um, yeah, yeah, a whole week without getting getting something a little special off eBay. That's not on, really, is it? But, um, look, I suppose I shouldn't complain too much. I, um, I bought the boat last week and I went downtown and got a um, spare tyre for it. They didn't have a spare tyre on the trailer, so... I bought a spare tyre with a multi-fit rim so you could either have a Ford or a Holden stud pattern on it and um, I bought a shade cover for it and a few things like that but um, I haven't really had a chance to fit anything on the boat yet it's just um, a time thing. <laughs> um, so uh, the boat's over there, I've, I've had a bit of a play, I bought a, another prop, the, the prop was a little marked up, um, it's been a boat that they used in creeks, you know, crabbing and things like that and the, the prop um, it kissed a few rocks by the look or you know, it, it was just starting to show signs of wear and tear so I shot into town and um, bought a just a reconditioned stainless steel prop to pop on it so I'll have the stainless one and the standard aluminium one so that'll be okay um, we'll get that sorted and a couple of new seat mounts just to, just to change things around a little bit but um, so I bought a few knickknacks but um, nothing of um, machining quality or anything like that um, I have been putting a, quite a bit of effort into the shed here, in Bundy Bear's shed, doing our shift around where um, I've got the last of the pallet racking pretty well up now and um, I've been putting a lot of effort into that really, um, sort of going flat out. So it's sort of like, you know, a newly, <laughs> a newly married wife and the mother-in-law's coming for the first time. Oh, that's how hard I've been at it. But um, look, it's looking good. I'll swing the camera around shortly and show you and what we've been doing in the shed but a lot of the stuff is up off the walls or off the floor sorry now and, and um, I've bought quite a bit of room there's there's still things to do I've got to clean the lathe and the milling machine yet and <clears throat> I mean my old 28 Chevy over here it's got no diff under it and um, I did have like a stand underneath it and um, to, to push it around but no, it didn't work it kept falling off so I've come up with a plan to put a couple of casters under there, so I'll probably machine them up today. And um, I have the casters, but um, what we're going to do is have a caster under the spring and then just put four bolts and a, a flat plate with four holes that match the holes in the casters. And, and that way I should be able to move the Chevy around. So I've cleaned up enough of the shed that there's enough room to move the Chevy now, so I can actually um, get it over to where I'd like it temporarily until we get back into it again so um, but anyway we're, we're going fine with that I'll um, I'll swing you around in a minute and I'll show you what I've been up to just to prove I'm not telling you porky pies and um, yeah we'll we'll get going with the plates and do that and then um, then I need to clean the mill up the mills bloody filthy but anyway um, yeah you seem to rush in do a quick little job and rush off again without giving it the due care and attention it deserves, you know, cleaning up properly, so um, it's just a rushing around thing, so. But look, hang on, hang on to your hat, this will be a short um, kangaroo stew. Um, well, depends how long I take to drill these bloody holes, I suppose, doesn't it? But, but um, yeah, I've got to head, head down to Brisbane tomorrow. My dad, dad and mum turned 80 or in May, and um, he went down to Brisbane to um, have a look at a hip replacement, but they've just, operated and taken some screws out and he's right to come home tomorrow so um, so Monday which is normally my day off um, I'll jump in the car and I'll go and pick mum and dad up from Brisbane so it's about they're down the other side of Brisbane down through the other the other side so it'll be about five hours each way so by the time we go five hours down and stuff around in Brisbane a bit five hours home I'll probably be ready for a snooze when I come home yeah, feeding asleep so I'm right for work the next day but that's how it is um, I don't mind going for drives, but um, yeah, <laughs> I'd rather go bush than to the city, that's for sure. But anyway, that's what we're, that's what we're up to. But anyway, I'll, um, I'll swing you around and just show you a little bit of what I've been up to. So out through here, we've still got a bit of a mess up there. Um, but that toolbox and that, that's all mobile, so we can shift that around easy enough. The pallet racking's coming along good. Um, I've got to put some timber up through the middle here. That's the old Chevy, and the plan is to get the Chevy over here. Now this is where the tractors and the Chevy will go. 
Yeah, and we've got all the pallet racking up through there in the forklift and there's room for three across there. It doesn't quite look it on the video I can see but um, anyway, they'll fit there easily. And, but the idea is to fill where these bits of, um, where this pallet racking is here. I've got to fill that up first before I put vehicles in there with the forklift and um, yeah, it should be, well it should buy us a lot of room anyway. Now over here, that's the old 28 Chev and um, what a beauty, eh? Me driving that around with me big whiskers, I look like old oh, bloody, I'm off the clamp, it's <laughs> bloody hillbillies. But, um, but down in through here, see I've got the diff out at present, I've got it sitting up on stand, so what we're going to do is put a caster underneath and that should let me swing the back sideways and then we can, um, that's one of the casters that we're going to put on it. And I should be able to move it on this concrete floor. The floor's pretty good in here. So we should be able to move the Chevy around. And, and we've also got a heap of steel sitting down, <coughs> sitting in here as well. So that's steel, um, I've got place for that. If you can see where the boards are, right up on the top there, there's room for the steel up there where I can get the long lengths up off the ground and when I want one I can just slide in with the forklift and, and pop one up just to bring it down onto the bandsaw down here so um, but anyway we'll cut a little bit of steel off and we'll get our job underway we'll, over the bandsaw there we'll go and have a bit of a saw just let that run down there Should be one little bit of steel that'll fit a that'll fit the wheels. You'll notice the coolant. Yeah, um, I'll try and line you up a bit better. The coolant the hose should go onto here, but the strainer in the pump there must be just a tad coarse. And I'm finding the little holes on these two um, on the two coolant nozzles, the nozzles often get blocked and it's a pain in the bum so that's why I take them off but the plan is I've got this big filter that I, I come across. It's a, it's a reasonably coarse, it's a fuel filter and so the idea is on the back hose to put that in so any, any coolant coming into the back hose there as it comes from the pump up to the both nozzles I'll put that fuller in. So anyway we'll see, that's a that's a job not for today, but it's on the, on the cards to be done anyway. Well, this job's about as simple as it gets in a machine shop. We have uh, two bits of plate here, sitting on a bit of board, just to keep it up off the bottom. Now the holes are slotted in the casters, so accuracy is not all that important. So if we run a line in here, one there, Cross them in about the middle. That will be as accurate as we need for this job. This drill always buzzes, so I don't know why. We'll just pop a few pilot holes in. Might actually even go the right way. Hang the expense.
just a mark away. That's a little pilot hole. I'll go and change the drill out. That buzzing um, coming through there, I've actually got a variable frequency drive I've bought to put on this drill. And hopefully some of that old technology, I can get rid of some of that. And um, the buzzing points and all that, but anyway, we'll see. Okay, job done. Now let's go and get it over on the Chevy and we'll bolt them up. Well there you go, that's the idea. And um, we've put the we've put the plate and the wheel just behind the centre bolt. Just because it was a flatter, flatter setup. And when we let the let jack down here. There you go, we have a little wheel. I've got to do the other side yet, but that's the go. The bolts could have been a little bit longer. Um, they come through all right, but they just go about a bee's dick into the nylock on the nylock nuts there. So um, there's a washer on the caster side of the, under the head of the bolt, um, because there was slots there, if you remember. And um, yeah, so we'll put one of them on each side, then that should make the Chevy um, shiftable by just pushing it around on the floor here. Sweep where we need to go and away we go. So I'll do the other side. Well, look at this. 